Hello sewers, this is Isha from MG Manufacturing. I'm going to familiarize you guys with your Juki MO63. We'll go through some troubleshooting items, show you how to thread it, and get you familiar. I would suggest pulling up this video, sitting it next to your machine, and following through the step-by-step -step guides, and it's available for you whenever you need it. Happy sewing, and let's get started. Your machine will come out of your box similar to this. It'll come pre-threaded all the way through. These are all your elements. We'll open it all the way up. And I'll show you how to unpack and thread. So you'll have all your threads wound around here. You'll pull them apart. You'll pull this antenna up. Now when you get your machine, this top piece may not be attached. It detaches, just make sure when you put it on, you line in your colors up here and here. So you have your green, you have your green, you have your blue, you have your blue, you have your red, and you have your red. The most common issue I see is people put this on the opposite way. So you pull this antenna up and you put your piece on top of it. Make sure your thread doesn't run out. I re-threaded it so that I can show you guys from the starting point, this thread should be a lot longer on your machine. So what you'll do first is go ahead and put your threads on. We'll just drop them down. This first one goes to your first hook, and this is your thread that goes through your needle. This second one and third one are your bobbins. And I'll repeat it again, but you guys will tie them all up only your needle thread is what you'll pull through. Once you hit your pedal on your machine, these will run through on their own. So now I will show you how to connect your threads. So you'll pull each piece and you'll tie it to this existing piece. It's a lot different than threading a regular sewing machine, but if you have a serger or ever worked with embroidery, it's done about the same. So you want to tie this tight and you also want to pull it to make sure it doesn't come loose so that when you pull it through, it doesn't come loose halfway through and now you have to re-thread the whole machine. And even when you're changing out your threads, you do it the same way. And these gloves are making it kind of difficult. One moment. Make sure this is through here. Okay. Now it's easy. There we go. Then we'll cut that excess. And this is what you have. Pull it a little bit, but not too tight. Make sure it's knotted. Pull that to the back and do the same for your other two. There we go. So what I'm going to do is pull this orange through, take this out so we'll have enough leverage to tie it up. So when you have to sew from scratch, these just fit down in here like this. I'm gonna take my blue and my blue, and I'm gonna tie those together. Then I'm gonna snip the excess off. You don't wanna force so much thread through because it will jam your machine. You pull it. And then now I'ma just pull it back to the back so it'll pull through smoothly. You want the front to be smooth, the back can pull and hold that excess thread. So you have your green, you have your blue, now we'll do the red. And I'll do the same for this one. I'll pull this thread through so we'll have more leverage to tie it. Let's pause. So now you have this one tied in a knot. We'll cut off the excess. Then we'll pull that to the back, get it out the way. Okay, so before we start threading, we're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna get you familiar with some key points of your machine, which is your bobbins. And we'll do a flow of how the thread runs through. And if you follow the colors, you should be able to follow the red all the way through the machine. So we'll go dot there, 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 there. And then if you come in closer, 
that's the other red. And all you have to do is follow this diagram and it shows you, once you get familiar with these different parts of the threading, you'll be able to follow the diagram and we'll go step by step. So first we're going to pull through our threads. So you wanna go make sure your presser foot is up and then start pulling through. So you loosen your bobbins, just turn them all the way to one for now, all three of them. If they're not already at one, if they're not already at one, turn them all the way to one. And then I'm gonna get to my lowest point here, get to my lowest point here and I'll use this so you guys can see. And I'll start pulling from up. I'm not pulling out the needle, I'm pulling up. So I'll make sure my needle is all the way up and I'll start pulling from the top. And you see the thread coming through. Once you get it as close to your needle as possible, go ahead and snip and snip both of them. That bottom piece, you'll have to pull out of your needle. And if you go around to the back, you'll pull it from the back. So you'll pull that thread from the back of your machine. And I could have just went off to the side, but. Mm -hmm. There we go. Those snippers in your plastic bag is very important. They come in handy. So we'll push that off to the side. Then we'll come back around to the front. And we will thread our needle. So pull that through. And as long as your presser foot is up and you have your bobbin, wind it all the way open to number one, it should pull through pretty easy for you. And we'll go up very slow so we can let you see where it's coming from as we're pulling. And then, so we'll go ahead and thread our needle. And I mean, it's the same as if you're sewing by hand, you thread your needle. It's just a little easier if you use your tweezers. Then I'm pulling that through. And we're going to just pull that to the back out of the way. Okay. Now your other two are threaded already and when we push when we put our pressure on our foot it'll go and pull all your threads through now sometimes nine times out of ten if you don't start that first stitch slowly one of these two bobbins are going to pop out however we'll go through threading the whole machine and you'll see how that works so just try to move any excess out the way we'll pull that through the back and this is not absolutely necessary. I just do everything to get that first start right and I don't have to go back and re-thread. There you go. So you'll pull that back. You can leave it or you can snip it. Doesn't matter. You close this, close this. We'll do a stitch to show you how to get started and then we'll pull everything out and re-thread the whole machine over. Once I push my pressure foot, we'll put the camera on this part so you can actually see the threads running through. Right back. Fabric. I found that when you're sewing on a serger, if you have double layer fabric, it, I guess that's what it's for. But if you have double layer fabric, it's a little bit easier to sew. So I'm going to get that under my presser foot. And again, this is just a piece to show you how the thread initially runs through. And you want to go slow on your first one. You see those are running through so that if there's a catch, It'll catch, let's see, it will catch and something did catch. So let's make sure it didn't come loose and it didn't, it just sewed in too tight. So we're gonna bring our needle up. We're gonna press the presser foot to get that out. What you never wanna do is pull. I know if you are using a regular sewing machine, you can get to this point and pull and it'll pull the thread but this thread actually interlocks as it sews. So you always want to get it out the back with, by pushing your foot, okay? So it's not moving, so we'll have to actually cut from this side, okay? 
So we'll keep running through and see if it pulls through. If not, we'll have to rethread it anyway. One moment. Yep, and as you see here, one of your bobbins did come in loose as it was running through and that was the issue. You could zoom in on that. So right here is where it came loose. So we're gonna go back and re-thread. So now we'll zoom in on here. And this is your threading diagram. So this is your threading diagram. Um, as I'm threading, I'll go back and forth and show you the spots equivalent to what's on the diagram. So let's see, this is, so let's find out what, and as you move your spin wheel on the side, it gives you access to different spots. If you're threading, you should automatically open this because you have to get to one point from there. So let's follow We'll go back to the diagram. You always want to thread in the order as is numbered. So you want to do this thread first, this thread second, this thread third. Your needle is always the last. And they're having you thread it the way that the threads intertwine when it locks. So we're going to check one first. So one is there. We're checking to make sure there's no, it's not caught up on anything. So if you start from your diagram number one, you see this spot here. This spot is this hoop here. Then we're gonna to go to our next access point, which is your, your wheel to tighten your bobbin. So it's going down, it's going from here to here. It's going under there and here. And I'll show you that spot on the diagram. So it's going here to here. It's going under this. I know most of them usually double winds. You do not double wind it. You just take it under and over that hook. So from that point, we're going down and there's a hook here. And I'll show you on the machine. So we went around the bobbin. We went through this hook. It fits through this hook. Wait a minute. I can't get it out, but it just slides down in there. We'll pull this back, get the tension back, okay. So we went through this hook, we went down, that's your second, that's your next access point. We'll go back to the diagram. So now that was that access point there. And then once you go down, you have a circle hook here and it looks exactly as it does on the machine. What I want you to pay close attention to on your machine, this spot, you have a red dot there and you have a blue dot behind it. That's a spot that some people miss, a red dot there. The red dot is for number two, you're working with number one. So it came down through this hook, this hook, and through there. So we're at this access point. That access point shows right here on your diagram. Then we're gonna go to this access point. So you go from here, you go from there. And as you see on your diagram, you go up. So now you have one hook coming towards you and you have one hook going away from you. So if we move this slowly, you see you have one hook going away from you, which is number two. That's the one hook going away from you. And then I'm gonna turn it again. And you see this is the one hook coming towards you. And as you see, that one came loose also. <laughs> So now we're going to go through and re-thread those. So now we're at this access point for number one. We've gone all the way around. So now we're going to find this access point. So this hook is that hook. So from this hook, we're going up here. From this hook, we're going up. And as you can see, number one is behind thread number two. Thread number two is the red. So it shows you exactly where it needs to be. So now we're gonna go through this access point and thread it. So you have number one down around there, there's the orange, okay? So go back. One second, I'm gonna pull, it's the orange thread that we're working with. 
and I'm going to pull it out so that you can see. Okay, zoom in. So you came from your access point here that we just showed on the diagram blue. And there's a small blue dot here. You can barely see it, but if you get from this angle. So wait, we're going to get to it so we can zoom into it for you. Okay, right there. Yep. You see it right there. Mm -hmm. So that's the blue dot, and you see your orange thread going through. And if you follow that to your left, and I'll guide you. So we're right here. And then that's where you will put your thread in. So we'll zoom out so you can get a full view. And that's number one. Once it goes through that access point, you just pull it out the back of your machine. Once it goes through that access point there, it comes out here, and you pull it to the back of your machine. That's one. You're done with one, it's out the way. Now you're gonna do two. So two, you see here, this is hanging from your antenna. It comes down and goes over this hook. Again, it comes down. And this one, it overlaps. So you're actually threading through the hoop, pull it out, and then you thread through this second hoop. We'll get down on it so you can see but you're threading down through this hoop, then you're pulling the thread up and you're threading back down through this hoop. We'll show you on a diagram. It's going down and it's going around your bobbin wheel. So it's going down around your bobbin wheel and again through this hook. You take your thread and you pull it down and it'll snap into that hook. So we'll follow it on the diagram, go down, around, through that hook. And then this is your next excess point, which is this hook here. So we have brown thread in this one. We're following the red dots and the brown thread. So then your next excess point is here, right up under there. The same for the blue is the same for the red. So you'll go here, you'll go there. Then your next access point is here. You see your red dot. And that access point shows on your diagram here. And as you see, your red line is in front of your blue. You see here, your red is in front of your blue. The orange thread is in the blue, the brown thread is in the red. Then your next access point is here. So we're following the thread through there and it goes in here. Okay, so we go from this access point. Now this one gets a little tricky. This red shows your thread. And as you can see, you can see your piece coming towards you because the thread actually goes in behind. We're going to try our best to get to this point on the machine with the camera so you can see exactly where it goes. So follow my guide. I'm going to pull this so there we go. So it'll come back out. I'm going to move that red out of the way so we can get to it. Okay. So now Okay, so you take your thread, and I'll snip it so you can follow me closely. Take your thread, and you're going to just push it through and pull it out this side. So now you're going to spin your spin wheel over here until you can actually see this. So I'm going to show it to you. It's this access point here. But once when you get to it, because you've had your machine in the position to thread the other side for your um, thread one, all you got to do is turn your wheel towards you, and this will come over. So now you take this thread, you take it behind that piece, and it goes in. So it needs to come into that slit facing you. So you take it behind this hook through this slit facing you. So now you have to spin that, bring your access to the other side, and we'll zoom in so you can see what that looks like. You can let this thread go. Spin